Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this Cabinet meeting on the 18th of July 2024. Um, can I remind members that the meeting is going to be is being recorded and will be uploaded to YouTube? I have apologies from Councillor Clark and Councillor Daniels. Do we have any other apologies? I think we're all here. Item two then, the minutes of the previous meeting held on the 27th of June um, 2024 are here for approval. Can I request a mover and a seconder, please? All those in favour? Thank you. And item three, declarations of interest. Can I ask if the committee if there are any interest to be declared? All silence? Good. Item four is question time, and I understand that none have been received. So we go on to item five. Matters referred to Cabinet in accordance with the overview and scrutiny procedure. Um, just to advise the committee that we do have a matter referred from scrutiny, but as it relates to item eight on the agenda, um, the chair of scrut um, ISAG scrutiny will deliver that report alongside the item. Um, in my notes here, it says the meeting was after the agenda, therefore the report has been circulated for members and, and it will be updated to Modgov after this meeting. So item six is the quarter four performance report, which I believe everyone has seen. Yep. In item eight, yeah. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> no problem. So we are here to present the report to provide the committee with an overview of the council's performance for the fourth quarter of 23-24 financial year. It reports the position in relation to progress with strategic corporate projects and updates on the financial position, corporate risk, audit, information governance and complaints. It went to corporate scrutiny and was considered, they considered the report on the 25th of June this year. Um, just to say, with regard to the report, I think most of us have felt that it's a difficult document and I ha do have a meeting with the finance officer next week to look at how we can make this better um, digestible and how it's structured. So does anyone have any questions? Not really a question, actually, but uh, I'd, I'd back up that. I think th this document is going great for you know, internal consumption. I don't think it's so much a, a document you know, for ourselves who really want the headline stuff and things we need to be focusing on. Because a lot of the you know, things can ha get hidden in the detail that we would not necessarily spot. Um, so I'd, I'd fully back up Carol that uh, decision to do that. Thank you. Any more questions? Right. We have to endorse the content of this report, but I do need to tell Cabinet that in addition to that, we have to approve for each of the projects detailed within the capital outturn section of the report at 3.7, the reprofiling of the budget into the Council's capital programme for 2425 total of 30.146 million and this is an additional recommendation that should have been included in the report before so the recommendation that recommendation needs to be moved so can i ask for a mover on this yeah, and a seconder thank you all those in favor thank you do i need to take a separate one for the whole thing Right, so for the whole of the report then, can I have a mover, please? Mover and a seconder. Lewis, all those in favour? Thank you. So we go on to item seven, which is the Corporate Plan 2025 Development Timeline. So this is the report to advise members of the emerging corporate plan and seek approval for the programme of consultation to finalise its development. Um, does anyone have any questions? I know we've looked at this several times. Everyone happy with the timeline? Yeah. yeah. Right, so I'm asking that the Cabinet approve the proposed timeline 
and process for the creation of the new corporate plan as set out in Appendix 1. So a mover, please, and a seconder. All those in favour? Lovely. Thank you very much. On to item 8 is the Tamworth Electric Vehicle Strategy, and I'll hand over to Councillor Foster for this one. So this, this item is uh, looking at um, electrical vehicle charging points within the, within the borough, and it's part of um, a much wider uh, Staffordshire uh, County Council remit to, um, to put in the, um, these electric charging points where um, houses or residents haven't got a, um, a driveway. So it's looking at people, uh, quite a lot, about 9,000, I believe, that uh, in uh, in the borough that haven't actually got somewhere they can easily charge their cars, so we need to be looking at um, at uh, making facilities available for them to, to do that. And as part of that, there is um, a, a fund, um, a levy fund. I don't know if it's levy or levy fund that has been made available to Staffordshire County Council um, to enable us to start implementing some of these some of these uh, dev uh, devices. That um, either uh, council um, properties or, or, or places where we own, or in most cases, it's going to be owned by the borough, by the Staffordshire County Council. Yeah, but obviously, you know, we need to move towards a net zero position. That's one of our that's, that's one of our aims, um, and one of the ways of uh, you know getting to net zero will be you know the wider use, much wider use of electrical vehicles. And obviously, they need to be charged up from somewhere. So it's in line with the you know, uh, Staffordshire County Council's um, wider remit. So I'll, that's all I've got to say really on the, on the thing. It seems very sensible and is is uh, in line with what we're trying to achieve generally in terms of our uh, environmental responsibilities. Um, can I hand over to Councillor Couchman to? Um, report to us from thank you very much chair um this the isag scrutiny committee um scrutinized this last week and we went that we had a very detailed conversation around future uh, developments use of hydrogen fuel for instance um electric against electric charging we looked also at the future developments of prod of ho homes where you know, we need to have these electrical charging points in, especially sort of high-rise areas or groups of flats. So we've made um, two recommendations. Well, first of all, we endorse the final version of the Tamworth uh, Electric Vehicle Charging Infrastructure Strategy. Um, before I go further, can I just thank Tom for his very detailed um, information that he gave to us last week. It was very, very illuminating. Um, and the, the, the two um, recommendations that we make to Cabinet are that the strategy be reviewed in two years because the way that modern technology is developing, some of the things that we're doing today could be obsolete in, you know, five years' time. We were talking uh, last Thursday, for instance, about blackberries. Somebody thought I was talking about fruit. Um, and you think, you know, they're obsolete now. Um, and then the second recommendation was that all new developments contain um, sorry not all new that new developments contain EV charging points whether it you know it's one in ten one in five whatever but especially where there is um, a built-up area that those are available for new residents and that both that should be considered by the in the local plan and in uh, by the planning committee thank you chair Thank you for that, Councillor Couchman. Um, <coughs> do we have any comments on Marion's comments? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll start on it, yeah. I mean, obviously, I mean, um, they, th these are, um, recommendations are, um, you know, we don't, wouldn't have any problem with these and I, I would highly recommend them to be endorsed by the rest of the Cabinet. It seems very sensible um, because it's in line with what we want to do and what, what we want to achieve. So I'll... I'll I'd say, yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh.
Sorry, and thanks for your input because it's obviously useful for to, to get you know feedback from scrutiny on on these sorts of issues. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, I don't have a problem with the recommendations. It's, it's the first one, definitely. We should be looking at it because the systems are all moving on so fast that we don't know where we will be in two years' time. We, we you know, we could be in a completely different place with um, electric vehicles. The looking at the charging points on the new developments may be a bit more challenging but if we have the will to do it then you know we should be able to have some influence over that on things that we're in charge of we as everyone knows private developers have um, are a law unto themselves so you know that may be a bit more difficult did you want to come in Dave? I was just going to ask Tom a quick question on that. In terms of that Levy fund, is it is it strictly ring fenced? You know, could we use any of this funding to for these charging points on new developments? Would that be outside of the scope of the the Levy fund? Um, as I understand it, it, it would be sort of outside the scope. I think it's um, as it stands. I think it is all pretty much mapped out where they intend to broadly put them, and it is in sort of existing communities. I would just, yeah, thank you, Marion. Um, I would just say I think the first recommendation is really sensible that we review it in two years. I think the second one is contingent on the first because if it does turn out that, you know, electric charging vehicles is obsolete, I wouldn't want to have a policy in place that says now we're still agreed to build in electric charging points when everyone's gone hydrogen in 10 years' time. So that would just be my comment. Thank you for that. Um, I'd just like to thank Tom for all that you've done on this. As the ex-chair of ISAG, I know that we've asked about EV charging loads and loads, and the idea that we're going to make it easier for people who do live in those places where you can't have something on your drive. It's, it, it's very difficult to work out how it's going to work, but if, if I take my own situation, my husband has had to have an electric vehicle if we didn't have anywhere to put it, I'm not quite sure what would happen then. So there may be other people who live in terraced houses in exactly the same position. So us, you know, putting those things in place is, is brilliant. It, it goes to what we talk about, about making things fair and equitable for everyone. So um, <coughs> I do need to do two things. Yes, I think I am. Well, can we say that we will review every two years with the view that we commit to if electric vehicles are still a priority for housing developments, that that's still... So merge the two together. Merge the two together. Streamline. <laughs> I don't have the wording in front of me, but I'm happy to. Are you happy with that, Councillor yeah. Couchman? Yeah. yeah. So on to the actual um, item six. No, golly, what are we on to? Item eight. So the recommendate. No, where's the first recommendation? That cabinet approve the final version of the Tamworth Electric Vehicle Charging Infrastructure Strategy. Can I have a mover, please? And a seconder. We've got two people there. All those in favour? So that has gone through. So thank you, members. That concludes the business of the meeting, and I'll close <coughs> the meeting at, golly, 6.15. <laughs>